The biggest value that JAD brings to all of our departments at Harris County is truly the research capability that they have. My name is Mike Lee. I'm the Assistant Chief over Law Enforcement for the Harris County Sheriff's Office. In my role at the Harris County Sheriff's Office, I'm in charge of the Law Enforcement Command, which consists of everything that uh, is a law enforcement operation. Examples are our patrol operations, patrol support operations, uh, pretty much anything field related, our homeland security operations uh, like SWAT, uh, hostage negotiation. All of our training for our agency, I have that uh, also in the Law Enforcement Command. Uh, I have our IT department, our HR department, uh, and numerous other areas. So basically the way to think of my role is our department's almost separated into two uh, factions. We have the, the Corrections of the Criminal Justice Command, which is responsible for the care and custody of all of the inmates in Harris County. And so we have a chief over that uh, side of the department. And so I'm over everything else that's not corrections related. So the way I would describe JAD or the Justice Administration Department is, I think of them as a, a think tank for our county uh, and a phenomenal resource because historically, you know, uh, we've had to, you know, search around the country and, and, and reach out to usually academia, but to have an in-house source like JAD uh, that can help us uh, conduct research on our behalf, bring, proactively bring us research uh, and bring things to our attention, uh, it's phenomenal. I think JAD's, the way I would describe JAD's role in Harris County is that they're role is to take a holistic look at our justice system. Make sure it's a fair system for all involved because historically that hasn't been the case. And so that's what I see as their main mission. Some of the uh, collaborations that we've worked on uh, since their inception, uh, three come to mind. Uh, They've really helped us take a look at our traffic stop data and to take a look at any uh, uh, possibility that there may be some disparity in our traffic stop data, uh, especially with our min minority community, uh, looking for things like unintentional bias that may be occurring. And so we really appreciated them helping us take a deep dive at that. Our policies are, uh, so ones that stand out are like our use of force policy. Uh, work very closely with JAD to make sure that as an agency, uh, we want to be a best practice agency, so they helped us take a look nationwide at model policies and uh, make sure our use of force policy is uh, where it needs to be. The uh, third area that they really uh, collaborated with us on is taking a look at our training. Uh, so it goes hand in hand with like our use of force. Uh, the policy is one thing, but what type of training are you doing? And you know, we're, we're all aware of some of the bad outcomes we've seen around the nation. And so we wanted to make sure that we are using, you know, evidence-based, uh, best practice, uh, cutting edge training with our personnel. Well, the way I see JAD's role uh, resulting in helping out those that are vulnerable in our community, such as those with mental illness and homelessness, is to make sure that we do have practices and policies and procedures in place in our various agencies throughout the county that address those issues. I like to say there's three issues, societal issues, that are constantly thrown into the lap of law enforcement, and that's poverty and addiction and mental illness. And we're not always the best equipped in law enforcement to handle those issues. And so those vulnerable communities that fall into those three categories often end up touching our criminal justice system where it was sometimes just a result because there was no other avenue or door uh, for the police to deal with that situation. The Sheriff's Office has been working with JAD on their model uh, U visa policy for Harris County. And U visa is what they are, is this gives uh, 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 persons that are undocumented 
the opportunity to apply for a U visa, to be able to stay in the country uh, when they are a victim of certain types of crime, usually a, a violent crime or even a domestic violence type situation. And it's so in, uh, that at the end of the day, there's justice for everyone involved. And so that victim, we need them to stay here to help us prosecute the case. One of the goals for the Sheriff's Office is to really become a public health informed policing agency. And with what I mean there is, is where we do acknowledge that there is more to public safety than just law and order approach. That a lot of these problems that the police are having to deal with are do have a public health uh, uh, you know, nexus to them. We know what we've been doing has not been working. Uh, and so we can't be done in silos. We have to collaborate. And so I think what I'm really excited about JAD and their role is their ability to bring together stakeholders in the community and collaborate and discuss and to get past the finger pointing uh, because that's not what it's about. At the end of the day, we all need to work together uh, because at the end of the day, we're tasked with providing uh, public safety. And that's the goal.